Hello, this is David Ferguson from MLC CAD Systems, and I just want to take a couple of minutes here to go over uh, something fun you can do with the uh, multi-axis Deber toolpath. Uh, something uh, locally we refer to as a shot peen edge break. Uh, we're actually going to use the Deber toolpath to uh, put a radius uh, edge break rather than just a, a normal uh, chamfer break. Um, so I've got a, a part here uh, that uh, under any circumstances would not be much fun uh, to deburr. Uh, if I tried to do this uh, with a contour or a chamfer style contour, um, 3D style, that, that's always going to be a bit of a challenge to offset that tool and get it uh, consistent on all the edges, especially a ball nose. Um, but uh, using uh, Mastercam's deburr toolpath, and uh, although it is a multi-axis toolpath, we are going to be using it in a three-axis uh, setting. Um, so works on uh, you know your standard vertical or horizontal mill as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up uh, Mastercam's multi-axis deburr toolpath. Uh, we're going to be using a 3 8 ball end mill uh, for this path and I'm going to go to my cut pattern page on this and first thing I need to do is select and let Mastercam be aware of the uh, entirety of the solid model. So I'm just going to go ahead and give my solid a triple click or window it or control A, whatever I need to do to select uh, the entirety of my part and hit end selection. Um, and then rather than let Mastercam sort of use all the edges or auto detect the edges, I'm going to go ahead and use a user defined edge. Uh, and I'm only going to do the outside edge of this toolpath and then I'll, I'll write another one for the inside edge just to keep it from bouncing back and forth. Um, so user defined edge, I'll, I'll use a solid chain uh, as a loop and I'll go ahead and chain around the top outside edge of our solid. And then when I come down here uh, to my edge shape, uh, we're going to do a constant width. And we'll go ahead and exaggerate this. We'll do 60 thou. Uh, and do it as a climb mill. And number of cuts along edges, uh, instead of using a flat edge, which would be a traditional chamfer style, uh, we'll go ahead and use a rounded edge, uh, which will allow me to set uh, basically a radius based off that width. Um, and then I just need to determine the number of cuts that I want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and do this with five passes, um, although I could probably get away with three or potentially even more, but we'll do five for this. And we'll go ahead and we'll leave the rest of the settings here uh, the same. Uh, I will go to my tool axis control page next. And I'll go ahead and just confirm that I am set for just a three axis output. So I can just lock this into a vertical position. Uh, and then I want to go to my linking because I do want to try to make the toolpath as efficient as possible. And uh, clearance is set to a planular type, uh, so a basic Z height effectively. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use a user defined distance. I'll just go ahead and make that uh, four inches. Uh, I've got a rapid distance a feed distance and an air move distance. I'm just going to cut those numbers down a little bit to make it more efficient. Um, and then when I am linking the passes, instead of retracting all the way to my clearance plane, I'll go ahead and do that with a blended spline. And then because I like to, I'm going to go ahead and you basically do that all with a feed move rather than a rapid. And I can set a, a specific transitional feed move there if I want to. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and generate the toolpath takes but a moment. And there is our shot peen style deburr. I'm going to go ahead and copy this toolpath, do a quick copy after, uh, bounce into the parameters. And on my cut parameters, I'm simply going to dump the old user defined edge right there and select a new one. Again, a loop chain solid edge around that inside. And I'm not going to change any parameters. And of course, one of the nice things, new things about Mastercam 22, this is a copy of an existing toolpath. So traditionally, I would have to um, regenerate that uh, manually. But of course, there is the, now the option down at the bottom to have a Mastercam toolpath regenerate itself as soon as I hit the green check. So I'll just green check and allow the path to regenerate. And there's our path on the inside. Uh, I'm going to select both tool paths uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and fire up verify so we can kind of see our shot peened edge. So this is just my basic solid model represented in verify and we'll go ahead and run that. Oops. 
Let's speed it up a little bit. And when I'm done, I should have a nicely radiused edge there. So there's my 60 thou corner rad. Um, you know, the old school way I would have to do that would be either to, to make a modification to the solid model, uh, maybe maybe draw some surfaces and, and use maybe a flow line uh, to do that. Uh, but now with uh, my uh, multi-axis deeper toolpath, I can uh, radius edge break uh, relatively simply.